Okay, so here I have some red leaf lettuce and I'm just gonna pick whatever leaf. It's not necessarily fresh. <laughs> okay, so here I have a apple and basically what I do with all vegetables like carrots and broccoli and all that stuff is uh, I'm just gonna use a apple to demonstrate, but you know this applies to all vegetables. So I need both hands for this apparently. Uh, I cut like a piece out, like a really thin piece. Um, you could actually grate it if you wanted to. Then what I do is I pretty much fake a worm. So you want to take off like the skin because it's actually really tough for the turtles, well for baby turtles to chew through. And so I'm just going to use one of the pieces since, you know, it's a baby turtle. They don't eat that much. So yeah, here's the piece of apple. So the very first step to getting your box turtle to eat vegetables is you need to get them to eat some type of worm or bug or something and you know chances are they're already into some type of worm. So I got my little one into mealworms. It's the only thing. Oh look there's two cupated ones right here. <laughs> so my little one wouldn't eat at all. When I first got it, it took about a week for her or he for it to eat. And the first thing that I got it to eat with was live mealworms. And yeah, that's the first step. <laughs> I got my little one into live mealworms. Okay, so this is actually really important. So notice how I shaped, you need to shape whatever vegetable that you're feeding into like a worm basically. <laughs> so you're basically gonna be fooling your turtle into eating vegetables shaped like worms. So this is the piece of apple, but you know, it works like, it works the same if you're feeding like a piece of carrot or whatever. Um, and I'm also gonna be showing you how to do the same thing with lettuce since this is actually a lot more nutritional than anything um but yeah so let's get started okay so oh here you are here's my little three-toed box turtle and it hasn't ate for like a day and a half so it should be pretty hungry. Okay guys, so here is little three-toed box turtle. And excuse my nails, I haven't had a chance to do them, but here is how I trick her or him into eating vegetables. So first things first, I have the mealworm in one hand and the piece of apple in the other hand. So as you can see, it responds pretty well to the sight of a wiggly worm. So right there, right when it opens its mouth, I trick her <laughs> with the piece of vegetable and you wiggle it around basically, like if it were alive. You see? And it should start eating right away 
you know, just keep fooling her or him into thinking it's alive. And yeah, that's how I do it with vegetables. You see? It has no idea it's not alive. <laughs> See, the thing with them is I'm pretty sure they like the flavor, they just don't know it. <laughs> okay, and there we go. Just like that. We just got it. To eat a piece of apple so here comes the tougher part how to get your turtle to eat leafy greens right off the bat I noticed that it's really attracted to the red part I don't know why <laughs> but it just the red part catches its attention more so I usually feed like the red parts only so I'm gonna cut off a strip, kind of, you know, something easy for a little one to eat. And let's see if I try wiggling it in front of its face. Will you? Okay. Yeah, definitely. See, once I stop wiggling, it loses interest, but then once I start wiggling it, it's like, hell yeah, creepy crawly thing alive. <laughs> yeah, it's not really sure if it wants it or not. <laughs> Come on, little one, you know you like it. Alright. Oh, that was a good bite. <laughs> so, how much should you feed your turtle? So, the general rule is you should only feed however much would fit in their heads. If it were hollow so just imagine like their heads were empty however much food you can stuff in there is the amount they should eat because if you look at the anatomy of a turtle or tortoise um, their stomachs are actually the size of their heads so you know common sense um, don't let go <laughs> see it loses interest as soon as it sees that it's not moving and it wants to bite my finger off because it's moving <laughs> uh, but yeah if you look at the basic anatomy of a turtle you would see that their stomachs are actually the size of their heads so you know common sense feed as much as would fit in their stomachs. Okay, alright. So the little one has ate a slice of apple and some lettuce. So what I usually do is, you know, I'll still feed it a worm anyways. Just to kind of reward it. There we go. And I always feed the worms like head first. I make sure that little one gets a really good bite to the head first. Cause I mean, I don't know if this is real or not, but I've read a lot of stories of, you know, I don't know if they're made up. It sounds kind of stupid, but I've heard some stories of people who feed mealworms to their reptiles and if they swallow them whole, they actually survive in their stomach and pupate in there and then once they turn into beetles they eat their way out uh so yeah that's kind of creepy and 
you know, I just kind of take my precautions and I always make sure that when I feed a worm, that little one crushes the head first. So there we go. Let's see if it'll eat another piece of the lettuce. Success. Oh, there's a dog hair on it. <laughs> yeah, that happens quite often around here. Come on, little one. You know you like it. So, my goal is to one day not have to wiggle all the healthy stuff in order for little one to eat them. But, I mean, I don't really mind. Like, you know, obviously, if I were to just place, like, a big healthy stack of veggies, it would not, it wouldn't even look at them. Which is kind of, I mean, yeah, it gets kind of frustrating sometimes that I have to hand feed little one. And sometimes I just really don't have time, but I do it anyways. And yeah, like it's stressful sometimes, but then other times it's just like, I look at it kind of like bonding time, you know? Like one-on-one -on -one time. And it's nice. When it's, you know, when I'm not in a rush. <laughs> and I feed little one. I mean, you should really feed daily. But I don't. I feed one day yes, one day no, one day yes, one day no. So this little one eats every other day. But when it does eat, it eats really, really good as you can see. So I can get away with feeding her or him every other day only and I can tell it's starting to get really full it's struggling to get the food down <laughs> but it's a little fat ass it's not gonna stop till it's full to the brim <laughs> oh you are so cute I'm gonna, I'm gonna let go and see if he'll... I'm gonna let go and see if he'll eat by himself now. Him, her. <laughs> what are your guesses? What do you think it is? Let's play the guessing game. See, right now, obviously, it is too young to determine gender. But, I don't know, like, sometimes, little one feels like a girl. But sometimes he feels like a boy, so sometimes I call him a her, and then sometimes I call her a him. So right now there's really no way to know, but my guess is that it is a boy. No idea why, <laughs> but you know, I don't really mind what it is. So what are your guesses? What do you guys think little one's going to turn out to be a boy or a girl? Leave your guesses in the comments and yeah, I don't know. I was going to turn this into a mini giveaway. <laughs> the first person to guess gets something, but I don't know what to give away. So how about you just guess for the fun of it? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's just guess for the fun of it. My guess is that little one is a boy. Okay, so when little one decides that it doesn't want food anymore, um, I always, always, always finish it off with another mealworm, just cause, you know, a little treat. So I'm just gonna take a smaller mealworm, you know, the first one that I gave it, it was pretty big. So the second mealworm that I feed, I try and get a smaller one. Okay, so... Now I'm gonna finish things off with, oh my god, 
it wants it so bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing. I always feed the head first and make sure, you know, little one crushes the head really, really good. <laughs> Let's just tease her a little bit. Him, her, I don't know. Let's just tease a little bit. <laughs> Come and get it. <laughs> okay, so head first. Okay guys, so that's it. That is how I get my three-toed box turtle to eat veggies. Um, it took me a while to get it to eat veggies, probably a good month and a half. But, you know, I'm proud to say that little one is eating vegetables every other day now. Yeah, I wish you guys lots of luck for anybody who is having trouble getting their box turtle to eat vegetables. Um, it's especially hard when they're this young to get them to eat vegetables. They usually only like insects and worms and anything that crawls. So, lots of good luck and I wish you guys lots of success and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Say bye little one. Bye! Yeah, I went to this reptile convention and it was a lot of fun.